Everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Digi Eat Ya podcast. I'm back again, week number seven. Back again. Yeah. Um, before we actually get into it, I have a request for everybody. Ooh. Every week, I've been doing, we've been doing something a little bit different with our recording methods, our recording equipment. Yeah. Um, the systems and programs we're using to record. Uh, if you could just like legitimately leave us a comment saying like which week sounded the best to you personally, so that way I can go back and look at like what i can change to our setup we're obviously working with a temporary setup right now yeah. um with just i mean we have a pop-up table in our like home office that we pop open and then sit down on before we record um so until we can get a more permanent situation figured out i want to make sure i have a good temporary yeah recording space for us so if you guys just want to like let me know which week sounded the best all things considered um i'd appreciate it it would help us out a lot so we know we're not playing every week with what we think sounds the best we get to we can just get started and once we have a permanent setup it's it is what it is we'll have hopefully pretty standardized um like settings standard we'll we'll sound the same every week hopefully once we get into like actually we're still kind of messing with all of our settings just to see what sounds best. Yeah. And obviously we're using like digital equipment. We're not using like top of the line stuff. And right. And we have USB microphones plugged into a MacBook. Like we're not pro. We're not fancy we're, here. We're not pro broadcasters here. We're just <laughs> recording stuff that we're talking about. Yeah. Um. So uh, we were obviously a little late this week. Yeah. Planning on Thursday, but um, I, I went home. Yeah. On Tuesday? I don't know. Yeah. One of those days. I went home at some point this week, and then when I got back, like, we were just, ti- we were both tired. I wasn't feeling good. My voice was kind of scratchy. My throat hurt. Yeah. I hadn't been feeling good for a couple of days before that. So, we kind of just rested the last two days, and now we're back into it. And we yeah. just decided, we're not going to try too hard this time. We're not going to do anything, like, really mentally draining. We kind of just wanted a week to reset. Yeah. So... We had a couple ideas of, like, things we could do. Yeah, we still want to get something out there for you guys, but... Yeah, so, um, we actually had a completely different plan up until, what, about an hour ago? Yeah. Uh, we, we just changed our mind. Uh, eventually, we wanted to play Mad Libs, and we are going to come back to that. Yeah. We do want to do some Mad, Mad Libs Lib series. Too. Yeah, so if you guys have any, like, fun Mad Lib books or, like, individual Mad Libs that you really thought were funny, you can send those to us, and yeah. we'll look over them and add them to our list of things to do. But this week, we're going to do... Would you rather? Yeah, we're gonna play Would You Rather. Uh, Sorry, I didn't know you were waiting for me. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, we found a couple apps online, so we're gonna. We haven't gone through these apps, and um, so we're really going to test it now. Yeah. So apologies in advance if this sucks <laughs> because we don't know how these apps are. We didn't make these these cards that are on these apps. Yeah. We don't know what they say. Yeah. We don't I, know how many there are. I ans- I looked through a couple of questions on my phone before we just started yeah. using your phone. Uh you're going to see a screen recording of the whole thing. I'm going to drop in um if all things go well with video compression and stuff. I'm going to drop in the screen recording of us actually playing. Um so you'll actually see us in real t- like see the phone screen in real time as yeah. to what we're doing um yeah so i let's just let's just play. let's just do it let's just I mean, play let's a just game. have some fun yeah yeah i got my tea almost done and then let's just and just in case you've never played would you rather the rules are simple it's very simple you have two options and you pick one that you would rather have or do here's an example top of my head mm-hmm. would you rather never be able to drive again okay or Never be allowed to ride a bus again. Never? Wait, what? So you either can't drive a car. Okay. You have to find ways to get somewhere. Okay. Or 
you can't ever I'll change bus. You can never use public transport again. Oh. You have to drive or well, walk. Well, I guess it depends on where anywhere. I live. Like right now. Oh, at then at this point in our life. I would rather never use public transportation. Yeah, because I don't even know how much public transportation we have. Yeah, not in this area. I've seen some buses. Like if we went to New York. New York or Philly, Philly. or something, then it'd be different. Probably wouldn't even bring a car. <laughs> but yeah. okay. So that's that's an that's example. That's an example of yeah. what would you rather is. Yeah. Just off the top of my head. I'm sorry, that sucks. But. Nah, it's a good one. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're gonna take turns reading um these cards. We'll both answer it. So you'll ask me a question, I'll tell you which I would rather, and you can just tell me like if you agree or disagree. Yeah. And then if there's like some real discourse, we'll argue. Oh, it's gonna be a debate now. If it gets to that point. Mm -hmm. Um, And then we'll pass the phone. Do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Why don't you get started? Okay. First one. Would you rather have Iron Man's suit Mm -hmm. or have Iron Man's money? Iron Man's money. I don't think I would want the responsibility of being Iron Man and having the Iron Man suit. Mm. I think there's too much that goes... Because it's not just a fun suit. Yeah. Like, you're kind if you have the ability... Reminds me of Spider-Man quote. Spider-Man quote is, with great power comes great responsibility. Oh. So if you have that ability, you're kind of like, ah, fuck. Yeah, like, you like have to do it. I gotta go. I gotta go fight this other <laughs> Iron Man or something. Yeah. So if I have the money, I basically just Elon Musk then. And I can do whatever <laughs> I want. And I don't care if people roast me on Twitter. <laughs> okay. I, think, I mean, that's that was easy for me. Yeah. The suit would be fun. Yeah, I think the suit would be fun to play with, but in terms of like long term yeah. longevity, yeah, I think the money, mm-hmm. which it just makes more sense. I think. Might sound shallow to some people, but I think it makes. But yeah, like the suit would be fun. But also, if I have Iron Man's money, he has so much money. Can I just make a suit myself? Yeah, exactly. Or pay guys to make me a suit because obviously the whole suit working is because Iron Man made it. Yeah, but so I think the way this this works is you click it. So I'm gonna make sure. Yes. Okay. And then it's just show your percentage. Oh, okay. So. 54% said Iron Man's suit. Wow. Surprising. Versus the 46% that said Iron Man's money. Mm. Okay. All right. Now, I don't know what you do. After it should that. just switch. I think oh. I tap. Yeah, you tap. Oh, okay. You just tap again. Tap again. Switches. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yes. Would you rather. This one's going to be super easy. <laughs> okay. Would you rather have dinner with the president <laughs> or have dinner with your favorite celebrity? Oh, God. No comment. <laughs> You gotta pick one. Can I plead the fifth? You gotta pick one. Uh, favorite celebrity. Yeah, I think so too. It's eighty-two percent. So this question must have been added to this app. Yeah. Within the last four years, because eighty-two percent said that <laughs> they would rather have dinner with their favorite celebrity. I think if the question was worded differently, where if I could have dinner with a president, I think yeah. that'd be really cool. Yeah, definitely. I just don't have an interest in ever talking to our current president. I don't think he's capable of intelligent conversation <laughs> over like dinner to keep you like entertained on dinner yeah like if it was like him steve bannon and like uh alex jones in a room together and i could just like sit along the wall yeah. absolutely i would love to be there be like a, a silent participant i don't even know who my favorite celebrity is though realistically yeah i was gonna say i don't really know if i technically have like a favorite celebrity i definitely mm. have people that like i want to meet yeah but I mean, any flashback to last podcast. Yeah. If you haven't (laughs) checked it out before, Kat did meet a lot of celebrities. (laughs) I did. Yeah. But Uh, now as a 25 year old. Yeah. And there's uh, a lot of people who I'd want to have dinner with. Yeah, definitely. Anybody who's in Star Wars ever. Yeah. Honestly. That'd be cool. Or anybody who's in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Any of those nerdy movies. What did you say the percentage was again? Uh, 18% to 82%. Okay. (laughs) I'm not surprising. (laughs) Yeah. And then you just just tap along the one of the buttons. Okay. Okay. Would you rather bring back someone who you love who died Mm -hmm. or bring back someone famous who died? See, that's a tough one. I haven't had a ton of loss in my life. Yeah. Like, I can't think of anybody. That you were super close to. Yeah, like, I've had a lot of, like, great-grandparents who've passed. I don't think I've I don't have any great-grandparents left, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's common for most people. Yeah. But. Like, you know, everybody in my family is young. Yeah. My parents are young. young. My grandparents are young. My great grandparents were still alive for years when I was born. Yeah. Most of them have passed, other than my great grandfather on my um, dad's mom's side. Yeah. He passed right before I was born. And I've never really met most of my mom's side of the family past her parents mm-hmm. uh, and her sister. But so, I mean, realistically, yeah, I'd probably pick celebrity. Someone famous. Someone yeah. Famous. 
Can you think of anyone that... Somebody, not in particular. I mean, I would think somebody who had a promising career mm-hmm. and then it ended early. It always brings back to like the 27 Club. 27 Club is what it's called, right? Yeah. I think people like Kirk Cobain, Heath Ledger. Brittany Jimmy, Murphy. Brittany Murphy, Jimi Hendrix. All those mm-hmm. people who like had such a such a following and just passed too early yeah i would love to see after like but after batman like what did he what was he ledger doing next yeah he obviously had another movie that came out after that Mm -hmm. which was his actual last movie but where would his career have been what Mm -hmm. would he have thought about like the the jared leto joker and all that like nonsense or like yeah kurt cobain what 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 would he have created what would nirvana have done yeah past that point how long would they have gone would foo fighters even be a thing i wonder if they would still have the hype yeah you know because yeah, like, I think a lot of well, people sensationalize them because they, of Kurt Cobain's passing. They did bring grunge to the mainstream. Oh, definitely. So yeah. I think like they had a lot to give. Smells like Teen Spirit was huge. Yeah. Like if, like we were, if we were alive, we were right. super young. But that's what I mean. People our age are younger who yeah. like who don't really know, like all we know exactly. is like what people tell us about it. And, like yeah. how much are they telling us is like this is really how it was, and how much is like yeah. us going back mm-hmm. and being like no, it was like. <laughs> He was everything. Yeah. When most people were probably like, this is awful. <laughs> this song sucks. <laughs> yeah. Like, like your average like adult. Yeah, I don't know. I'd probably say like a celebrity or famous person. And I don't have one particular person. Yeah. Anybody who just seemed to have gone too fast. Mac Miller is another good one. Yeah. I think like his career was definitely on the rise when he passed. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I I would probably choose the other one. Yeah. I have a couple of people mm-hmm. that i would i would bring back yeah that i've lost yeah so it just it's your it's your personal yeah i'm not saying preference but like your life and you haven't you haven't had a lot of loss and Mm -hmm. i've had a couple people that yeah i've had a couple close to had a couple of friends from like my high school time who have passed and yeah we've grown like obviously they're not being here you grow apart Uh, yeah because you don't have a chance to grow together anymore so if you asked me five six years ago my answer may have been different right when those losses were still fresh yeah but like when you get a chance to kind of reflect on those people that have, you've lived with and the life they had and you had together you're kind of like it's preserved in yeah. your memory and you're like that is the thing and yeah. as much as you would want to have more time with them sometimes you're like leave the thing where it is because mm-hmm. i don't want to taint what was there yeah I kind that. of you yeah. know that's just kind of where my brain went there well so, i feel like i'm in the minority of this yes point. you are um 83 percent for someone you love 17 percent. that makes sense and i think it has to do with how much loss you have in your life i feel like a lot of people have like grandparents and parents that they've lost yeah like you know you obviously Obviously. were like siblings yeah i just i've been very you've been fortunate fortunate in my life to not have been surrounded by loss it has a lot to do with the age of my yeah relatives as well yep and obviously somebody you love isn't always a relative right but i've also been fortunate in my personal life yeah all right next one hopefully this one's not as deep (laughs) all right it's a good conversation would you rather Mm -hmm. have a list of everyone who's ever been in love with you Uh, or have a list of everyone who's ever absolutely hated you oh god (laughs) well the first one i think would be a very short list (laughs) but you would you would it's maybe people you never even realized i doubt it (laughs) Oh, this one's hard Mm -hmm. because I feel like the love Mm -hmm. at this point in my life would just be weird. Yeah. I'd be like, who are, like, who is that person? Yeah. Probably from like high school or something. Somebody that you probably like talked to in high school, but haven't even thought about (laughs) since then. Yeah. Yeah. And the hate one is weird too, because I feel like personally, I'd want to reach out to them and be like, can we talk? Yeah. What'd I do? Also like, can I I fix it? I feel like at our age, hate's different. Like... Yeah, I don't. And that at is my important. at my age, I don't hate anybody. And like, like if I've ever we were, had a when conflict, we were in like high school, I feel like hate was also very open. Like, yeah, on like well, Facebook it was stuff, like petty. They'd be like, "Yo, bitch, you stole my man" or something like that. Yeah, know? but I feel like at this point, it's like if I've ever had a conflict with someone, I've either totally gotten over it mm-hmm. and don't even really think about that or that yeah. person anymore. Or would be willing to like have a conversation yeah, about it to resolve it. Yeah, even if you've gotten over it, you'd probably be willing to. Yeah, just sit even down if and I hash yeah. it out. So, I feel like I would go with the hate. Yeah, because the loved one just seems weird to me. Yeah, and the hate, I would. I don't know. I feel like I could take it personally too. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be like, oh no, 
Especially like, if it's a long list. What if it's a long list? I feel like they're both pretty egotistical answers. Exactly. But I feel like the love is more like about me. Yeah. And the hate's more about like, oh shit, what did I do? Yeah. Um. So the responses are 69% the nice. list of who people have been in love. Nice. Mm-hmm. And 31% people who have absolutely hated you. Okay. So you're in the minority, but I yeah. think I think it says, I think realistically it says a lot about your desire to like understand what people feel about you and like yeah more so like well i definitely you're care to fix it yeah i don't like it's ever want to about... leave a bad impression or yeah. make someone hate me i think i agree because yeah. i would want to know i would want to understand like what uh, what i'm thought of not even like yeah in, like, that's a, true too i want to make sure everybody likes me kind of way because i know but, not everybody likes me yeah no one i know yeah, there's a lot of people happen. that i've met throughout my life who have been like put off by me and my attitude yeah you know but um yeah i just feel like getting a list of people who love you is more about like a self-validation thing yeah feel, to me personally i feel like like me love me like, like oh look at all these people that had a crush on me in high oh my school. god my high school crush also liked me yeah wow it's like oh cool have you talked <laughs> since high school yeah, it's been 10 years samantha yeah this one's very similar, so yeah. this one is, would you rather be feared by all or be loved by all? Ooh, that's a good one. It is, but it's. I feel like it's almost similar mm-hmm. to the last one in some ways. In some ways, but I also almost feel like it's opposite. Yeah, like the although I guess that's true. It. Like, because I, I mean, my, I would rather be loved by all. Yes. I think that's, I think if you answer feared by all, it does a lot about you as a person. Um, yeah. Because I would rather, like be loved and respected for the things i do yeah. and also i don't i wouldn't want it to be artificial either yeah i wouldn't want to just because i said it yeah have them love me <laughs> i would want like to have brought something that brings like regard to me and my name right and in this context like what does love mean does it mean admired yeah. does it mean respected like that's kind of what it's I- all like romantic sexual that's just gonna be a hard life to live <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know <laughs> but if it's like admired and like appreciated yeah that strikes me as like like the old masters of like art and literature yeah. and stuff. I don't want to be feared by anybody. Like no. I never want to be unapproachable. Yeah. Which I think sometimes I have RBF, but yeah, but I'm also it happens small, and most people don't fear me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I agree. I would definitely want to be loved, and 87 percent agree. Yeah. So I think it makes sense. I think that's going to be the more popular answer, just because it's oh we got an ad. Oh. Um, I think it's a more popular. I will cut the ads from the stream when i upload just so you guys are aware the reason i am stalling right now is because i have an ad and you don't need to be bombarded by that (laughs) um what was i saying i don't remember yeah yeah i'd rather be loved by all yeah i think it's just yeah makes more sense for me yeah all right you ready yes would you rather listen to everything but your favorite musician slash artist or listen to only your favorite musician slash artist <laughs> so if if i getting this correctly what it means is that you either can't listen to your favorite artist ever again mm-hmm. you can listen to everything except that mm-hmm. or only them. that's all you can listen to mm-hmm. i don't like the wording of this question but i think that's where it was going for okay um ooh. this is tough because mm-hmm. While I love my favorite artists or mm-hmm. artists, yeah, I don't think I could function without diversity yeah. and more than one type of music or genre, mm-hmm. but never listening to my favorite artist again yeah. is also really tough. Also, I'm curious if like the rules are if your favorite artist changes. Mm. Like I've had multiple favorite artists over the course of my adult life right exactly and like a new artist comes out they may turn into my favorite does that then drop and then the next the old artists come back in yeah i wonder i mean that's just how my brain's trying to process my answer yeah i feel like i know my favorite artist and their music by heart Mm -hmm. so i can sing it right or i just i would say no i wouldn't want to make this as black and white as possible and just say no like just i can't even gone. sing it in my head no like it's gone oh shit but like you remember it being there and you're like oh like you have to be like upset that you can't listen to that that's frustrating at least that's the rules i'm putting on this 
Because, like, yeah, there's a lot of loopholes in gray area. You're like, well, yeah. what if I listen to the remix of, like, yeah. you know? I don't know. I think I have to go with uh, everything but. Mm. Because I just, I need, mm-hmm. I need more. Already. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you're in the minority. It's 43 to 57. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm really on the fence, but yeah, I know how too. simple I am to please with music. Mm-hmm. And usually if I get on an album, I'm on it for years. Yeah, that's like, true. My, ro- my album rotation doesn't change much. And you know that yeah. like the music I listen to stays pretty much the same for, um, an extended period of time. Right. If an album comes out and I like it, like I'm on that album for a long time. Yeah. I'm still on an album that came out in 2018. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so. Yeah, I know. I, I that one's a really tough one, honestly. I probably have to say because my like I said, my my listening habits have changed so much over the time. Yeah, I'd probably be on the same boat as you, where yeah. I'd ha- need the variety. Yeah, as much as I like my favorite artist, I know it's going to change at some point because mm-hmm. it's happened so many times. Yeah, it's not going to stay the same throughout. Yeah, the course of your life. I mean, we were just listening to like Kendra Lamar in the kitchen yeah and like that's not my favorite artist but I could be down for that for yeah ever I mean my favorite artist when I was 13 was the Jonas Brothers yeah exactly they're not my favorite now I still like them yeah. but Sucker's a great song oh yeah exactly. but um yeah like I mean that's the thing you ask I mean if you ask 16 year old awesome that and be like not listen to Blake 1 2 ever again no way <laughs> but like that's not it's like okay fine like there's other yeah there's other music like there's music that means a lot to me but even my favorite artist like yeah. I need more now. Mm-hmm. Like, my tastes have evolved. So you're going me. with the one I chose? Yeah. Probably. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. Yeah. I'm okay. on, I was so on the fence where I was like, probably, like, I see why I would want to just mm-hmm. pick my favorite artist because I can hold on to music for so long. Yeah. But, like, even still, I'll have, like, it on my car and I'll be like, oh, fucking, like, mm-hmm. you know, go to the next thing. But. Yeah. It's a tough one. Mm-hmm. All right. Next one. This one's weird. Would you rather. Yes. Always get first dibs. Like on anything. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Vague. Yep. Or always get the last laugh. I get it. That's that's an interesting one. It is weird, but it's interesting. Like so it means like would you would you always want to this is my interpretation of what you're saying. And if mm-hmm. you disagree, you can correct me. Mm-hmm. Um you always get to pick things first. Mm-hmm. Like you always get like if the new thing comes out, you always get it because you want it. Mm-hmm. But if you have the last laugh, it means like so if you have the new thing and it doesn't work, like mm-hmm. you got the new thing, like if you bought the Galaxy, whatever it was, when they were all blowing up, yeah, you got it. You were like, yes, I got the new Samsung phone. But like me as an iPhone user was like, hey, you can't go on a plane. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's my interpretation of it. Mm-hmm. I would probably say last laugh just because that's the type of person that I am. Mm-hmm. I like the new thing. You know how I feel about like getting new things. Yeah. But if I had to pick between That's the two, I'm surprised you didn't pick for steps. If, if I had to pick between the two, I'd rather like be the person that's like, yeah, I told you so. Yeah, you know, and I think that fits my personality Ooh, petty. pretty well, right? <laughs> but I think it makes sense too. Yeah, like because I like getting a new thing, but I always wear out my new things. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah. I always get good use out of it, and I never get it like right away. Even if I get the new thing, like I always had the new iPhone until the 11 came out. Mm-hmm. But I never got it right away because I remember when the first plus came out Mm -hmm. um, and everybody was waiting months for it because they were all so far behind and I was still on like the 5S and I was like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. Like, I don't need that. Yeah. I don't really have much to say with this one because I feel like I'm just in the middle here. Yeah. I don't really align with either. But you have to pick. Well, then it's always get the last laugh. Yeah. I think it's, yeah, I just think it. Right? I, yeah, I mean, it's weird. I don't mm. know. 59% for first dibs. Okay. So 41%. That's for... a very American skew. Me first. Yeah. No, me. Yeah. Me. I think it makes sense. Yeah. I get why you would want first dibs on yeah. anything. Yeah, oh, definitely. But, like, I'd rather buy a used car than, like, yeah. always have the newest one. You know, yeah. that's why I don't lease cars. That's why I have my car, you know? Mm-hmm. Whatever. I like my answer better. Okay. Okay. You're That's ready? all that matters. You ready? Yes. Okay. Would you rather be forced to dance every time you heard music Mm-mm. or be forced to sing to any song you heard? Mm-mm. So you have to either Neither. dance along or no. sing along? This reminds me of those vines. Remember um, the the vines whenever he would hear the cup song? Yes. Whatever he was holding, he had to do the cup dance too. Oh, I remember that. Um, 
Yeah. So would you rather dance every time you heard music or sing every time you heard music? Okay. So I, again, it's vague. Dancing. Could I just like do the worm really quick? That's not the worm, but. Well, it says every time you hear music. So I'm thinking the entirety of the music. Like you can't just like pull oh. a move and then walk away. Like if music is playing, you're dancing. Just like if music is playing, you're singing. But like dancing could just be me like swaying back and forth. That's my dancing. Uh, yes. Okay. I will, as the, as the unofficial judge of this competition, <laughs> I will let that. Then dance, because singing for that extended period of time is just so awkward. Yeah. <laughs> At least dancing, like, I mean, I can, mm-hmm. I can just sway or like. The question, though, is with singing, can you like hum? Can you sing quietly to yourself? Can you mm. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. You know? Yeah, it's still weird. <laughs> but they're both weird. I could also just avoid music. And not to either. Yeah, but like think about when you go into a store. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like you're buying groceries. You don't just... I work at a grocery store. And like when you're driving, it's easier to sing along when you're driving than dance along when you're driving. Oh, okay. No, I still go with dance. Okay. You're not swaying me. I disagree. Okay. Just because I feel like, based on the rules I made up, I would probably like hum along and stuff and like... Yeah, but you could like hold your steering wheel and just like sway a little. Yeah. I think it depends on what the extent of dancing is. Yeah. But dancing is an art form, so it can be anything. Exactly. You, you changed my mind. It's dance. Yes. <laughs> Mostly because I cannot sing. Oh, but more people pick yes. sing. Sorry, I didn't, no, I didn't okay. read the percentages. That's funny. Well, not by much. 52 to 48. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Would you rather be in a room with 50 bees okay. for five minutes Okay. or be in a room with 50 spiders for five minutes? See, it depends. Are they... What kind of spiders are they? There's so many different types of spider. Mm-hmm. Like, 50, like, tarantulas? Like, yeah, sure. Like, Oh, right? they're so cute. Like, they're cute. I'll pet them. But if they're, like, 50 black widows, I'll be like, mm, mm. <laughs> And, like, bees. Like, are they... Is it a type of bee? Is it a honeybee? Is it... Are we including, are we including wasps in there? Mm. Because, like, some it, bees are much more aggressive than others. Well, some, like, bee-type insects are more aggressive than others. Yeah. Probably bees. Yeah. Because if I could pick, I'd pick bumblebees. Bumble. And I would just like become the king and I would pet all of them. <laughs> I think that'd be so much fun. Yeah, bees, without a doubt. Yeah, I think I would choose bees. Yeah. Because spiders, they can leave webs places and, you know, they're, they're messy. crawling on you. But like bees crawling on you is cute. Yeah. Oh, spiders are cute. Depending on the spider. Oh. Some spiders, I would not want to crawl on me. 51% said bees. Yeah. So. Also, I can't blame anybody if they pick spiders if they're allergic to bees. <laughs> yeah, I am not allergic true. to bees as a disclaimer. So <laughs> yeah. that is why I chose bees. True, true. One time. My sister was at cheering practice. It was at elementary school, and there was like a like a playground nearby. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't know there's a wasp nest in an area, and I disturbed them, and they chased me all the way back to where my mom was sitting. Oh, and I got stung three times. This is the first time I ever got stung by a bee, too, by the way. Mm-hmm. Stung three times, one of which was inside of my mouth. Ow. Yeah. It was Ew. Rough. It was rough. <laughs> I just remember, and I'm, I was traumatized. Now I'm kind of like over the bee thing, but that has a lot to do with me being. Outside in the summer all the time mm-hmm. for my entire life. Yeah. Where bees just kind of turn into a nuisance more than a... They're a pain. Once you've seen a cicada killer in person, mm-hmm. no other bee matters anymore. Mm-mm. You're right. Okay. Ready? Yeah. I feel like this one's going to be easy. Mm-hmm. I mean, they both suck, but... <laughs> Would you rather become addicted to gambling mm-hmm. or become addicted to smoking? gambling and i'm gonna say cigarettes there because you can get addicted to smoking whatever yeah and i'm gonna say cigarettes because i'm assuming that's what they meant by gambling a hundred percent yeah i know like gambling addiction is real and it's it's yeah. bad yeah for some people but mm-hmm. i n- literally can't stand cigarettes mm-hmm. or the smell of them yeah anything about it mm-hmm. and I don't want to ruin my lungs. Yeah. I'd rather go in debt. <laughs> yeah. You can get out of debt. You can't get out of like lung cancer. Really. Yeah, exactly. So, 75% agreed with you. I think I would too. Yeah. Um, also, if you're addicted to gambling, there is a chance that you just like come out on top. True. There's no chance when you're smoking to like <laughs> to come win out the jackpot. <laughs> there's no like, pri- there's no like Willy Wonka prize in yeah. a cigarette ever. <laughs> um, yeah. 75, 25. So yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah. Okay. Would you rather... Ooh, this one is hard for me. Okay. Do you think it'll be hard for me? No. Oh. I think... I know. I know what you'll choose, okay. but you'll understand why I will have difficulty. Okay. Would you rather be able to talk to animals... Okay. 
or be able to speak all foreign languages. Hmm. I... Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. You know which one I would choose. Yeah, I do. But... But it's very difficult. Yeah. Well, here's... I'm going to say foreign languages. Mm-hmm. And I figured you would choose that one. If I talk to a French squirrel, <laughs> are they going to be speaking English? <laughs> or will they be speaking French? And then I'm out of luck anyway, because I don't know French. Uh, yeah, I mean... I'm... Okay, on a serious note, I, I would say the languages because I feel it's more practical. Absolutely. To like life. As much as I would love to be Dr. Doolittle and like talk to animals and Dr. Know, what, Doolittle. know what the hell Giz is thinking at any point in time. Yeah. Like, ever. I think it's it's a practical thing. Like yeah. there's not a lot of practicality in talking to animals yeah. unless you're like literally Dr. Doolittle, like a vet. Mm-hmm. But then I have to go to vet school and like actually know what I'm doing. Because mm-hmm. the. Animal can say like, "Oh, my foot hurts." That's still like, "Oh, okay." I can't do that. Anything well, for you? I'll call a vet. Like, um, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm a practical person in general. Yeah, my so. logical brain yeah. says foreign languages. Yeah, I've always wanted to learn. You know, it was any every foreign language. All foreign languages. Oh, absolutely, one hundred percent, hands down. I, and I would love that for so many reasons mm. to communicate with my friends who yeah. speak different languages. To mm. when I travel abroad, mm. to be able to speak the languages. Mm-hmm. That's my practical brain. Yeah. But Mm -hmm. you know me. Yeah. If I could talk to animals, I think my life would be complete. Yeah. Like, you know, I've always wanted to work with animals Mm -hmm. and I didn't go to school for that or anything, but I mean, man, imagine going to like a zoo or something. I mean, like, can you, can you open the door, please? (laughs) Let me out. Yeah. I'd say, okay. Yeah. Don't hurt me. Yeah. Uh, oh, really? Mm. 56% said animals. I'm not surprised. I think I get, I get why. Yeah. I, that's just, when I make decisions like that, like when it affects practicality, I yeah. feel like I'll always lean towards something, the, something more practical. Oh, definitely. More useful. But also, if I take you with me mm-hmm. anywhere and can you can do, speak. Yeah, we could do everything. Right. And then you could also teach me. I can't teach you how yeah. to speak to animals. Also, like, imagine this. Mm-hmm. This is another reason why I chose this. Well, mm-hmm. I just thought of now, but it's it's valid in my answer, so okay. I'm saying it that way. You walk outside mm-hmm. in the summertime, yes. and the birds are just yelling at each other. <laughs> like, that would get annoying, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Right? But the thing is, well, oh, okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't, is that how it works? Because that's how it works in my brain. Yeah, do you is hear it, every animal all tweet, the time? When they're, like, tweeting, is it, like, translated to English? Yeah. Or do you have to, like, force conversation? Yeah. Like, telepathy, almost. That'd be interesting. Because yeah. that would be so annoying. Mm-hmm. Like, Steve! Steve! <laughs> Shut up! Steve! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. Would you rather <laughs> sleep on soft ground okay. with a hard pillow Oh. or hard ground with a soft pillow? Okay. This is interesting. Yep. Soft ground, hard pillow. Yes. Hard ground, soft pillow. Mm-hmm. I think... How hard are we talking? I know. Like, is it a rock? Or is it just like a really firm pillow? Concrete? Yeah. Or like, tempur Let's say like, memory foam mattress, mm-hmm. rock pillow, memory foam pillow, sleeping on rock. Like, not even grass. I think that's, we, you have to kind of attach some, like, rules to it. The thing is. Because, like, if you sleep, because it doesn't say just outside. Because, yeah, yeah, I can sleep on grass with a nice pillow. And then it's like, it's a little hard, but at least it's comfy. Yeah. Like, you're in a cave with a pillow, or you can't find a pillow anywhere. And there's a rock attached to where your head goes on both sides of your bed. So you can't, like, turn around and just not use it. I was going to say, can I not use the pillow? No. Because I'm I could just that. use my arm. I'm adding that rule. <sighs> Lots of pain. Because then, because yeah, that is an easy answer. Mm, I don't know. I feel like the hard, like, area for your head would be really painful. Yeah. But so would your sleeping with your, like, your body on something mm-hmm. hard. Hmm. I think I'm still going to go soft ground, hard pillow. Really? Yeah. Uh, I think the opposite. I would do a hard ground soft pillow. 
I don't know. Yeah, I think I would do like I would sleep on like a on like a wooden floor. As long as I have a really good pillow, I think I'd be okay. okay. It's about fifty fifty. It's fifty one forty nine. Yeah, that's a weird one. For uh your answer. Okay. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. Would if you, you don't rather? like one, you can always skip it too. Would you rather have the Batmobile? Okay. Which version? Okay, I continue. Know. Or have the Back to the Future vehicle? Okay. So let me walk you through my process that's going on in my brain right now. Go ahead. So you know where I'm coming from. Mm-hmm. Um, flat, flat answer would probably be the Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Wow. The DeLorean. The Mandalorian. I would rather, like, out of all of those things, I want Mandalorian armor and baby armor. No. Yeah. Uh, The the DeLorean from Back to the Future. Yeah. As long as, and here's where my brain comes in, it follows the Back to the Future rules Mm -hmm. and not like, because back in the day, time travel, like movies and literature and like entertainment will always say like, what do you do in the past changes the future? Yes. That's kind of changed nowadays where it's like what you do in the past creates an alternate timeline. Yeah. So changing your past can't change your future. Mm-hmm. So if it's following those rules from Back to the Future, where mm-hmm. I could like go back with like knowledge of what happens today and be a billionaire, like I would invest <laughs> in, I would go back to the 90s and invest in Apple. Like, right. Like everybody else would. Um, but if they're not following those rules and it just creates a separate timeline and me going back to, back to my time doesn't mm-hmm. change anything, no, nah, I'd rather the Batmobile, depending on which Batmobile it is. Oh my God. And I'm not going to get into it, but like <laughs> I want the Christian Bale, uh, mm-hmm. Chris Nolan Batmobile because that's just, that's just a tank and it's practical and like you can just run over things. That was mm-hmm. cool. But like the like Speed Racer Batmobiles from like the 80s. Yeah. So which one? <laughs> um... Well, since you're asking the question, do the Back to the Future time travel rules apply to the DeLorean? Yes. Then yes, that the Back to the Future DeLorean. Okay. Yeah, I think I would agree with you. Mm -hmm. 53% said Batmobile. Really? Yes. Don't know why. It's interesting. Sounds cooler, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. (laughs) Just depends on the Batmobile. Yeah. Yeah, as long as the rules apply and I can actually change the future the problem is there's a danger there because you can change the future where you don't exist and then you disappear like i mean that's i'm talking i'm i'm describing the plot of back to the future to you (laughs) so yeah okay um i feel like this one i know your answer to this one just because of your knowledge of the subject Mm -hmm. um so I'll let you answer because I just know what it is, and then I'll explain like why I would answer the way I would. Okay. So would you rather be in the Avengers mm-hmm. or be in the X Men? Avengers. Yeah, that's what I figured because it's more and like that. Me too. Mm-hmm. Um, the Avengers in like, and if we're talking about like movie Avengers, yeah, it's different than the comic Avengers. Yeah. Because the X Men is an allegory, basically for racism. Mm-hmm. The whole thing, like their whole thing, is like the mutants are like second class citizens in their society, and they're oh. like rounded up and like genocided and stuff. And oh, the X Men are like a safe place, and they become like a hero thing. Yeah, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. I don't really know much. That's why I figured about X Men, and I only just yeah kind of what I I don't know anything about the comics of yeah. the Avengers. That's either, why but... I figured you would say the Avengers because yeah. I, at least I know that's in your head. Yeah. Uh, but even knowing that, like, yeah, the X Men is like mutants mm-hmm. are like second class citizens in that in their universe. Yeah. They're like, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? I don't know. Okay. okay. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Um, in almost all circumstances, and there's multiple different like Avenger teams, mm-hmm. but like the movie Avengers, yeah, probably. Yeah. Because they all came back at the end, so it's fine. Except Black Widow. Uh, spoilers for <laughs> wow. Avengers Endgame. <laughs> well, if you haven't it's seen been it out yet, for over a year. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> okay. Like Darth Vader's looks dead. Like spoilers for like a certain period of time. I was gonna say you're throwing it way back. back. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather out. always have your phone? I said always twice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Always have your phone fully charged. Okay. Or always have your phone connected to Wi-Fi. Now, I'm thinking that if you choose the first one, you don't ever get Wi-Fi. Or 
you can just or they mean anywhere you go no matter what you have i think wi-fi. the second yeah i think the second question means you okay. have like a personal wi-fi bubble next to you yeah with the current state of cell phone bills <laughs> number two hands down Wi-Fi. Yeah. no like no questions asked yeah i mean i have unlimited data so it's not a huge deal but it's like the fake unlimited data where they give you mm-hmm. like five gigabytes and like Haha, after this it's really slow yeah 64 percent agree um yeah i mean i'll just buy a bunch of portable chargers yeah it's fine. It's no yeah big deal. that makes sense yeah okay. easy 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 okay would you rather this was interesting for you because of your original career choice out of high school okay would you rather work for the fbi mm-hmm. or the cia mm. so would you rather be a federal cop mm-hmm. or a spy basically Ooh. if we were like that's me simplifying yeah uh, i mean i know what both yeah. of those are for um, our listeners who may not as cool as it would be to be a spy mm-hmm. And as much as I have my opinions about cops, yes, um, I've always wanted to be like a detective, yeah, that like works on like high profile cases. Mm. And the only way you really do that is if you're in the FBI, yeah, like Agent Cleary Starling, <laughs> yeah, from yeah, uh, sixty five percent agree with you, thirty five percent at CIA. I yeah. think uh, it also depends on where your knowledge of each of these organizations is and yes. what you know about the FBI and CIA. Yeah. I, I think the to FBI, be fair, I don't know enough about the yeah. CIA, yeah. but who does? I think what most people know, that's kind of the point. <laughs> yeah. I think what most people, um, there's an ad. Okay. I think what most people think about the FBI and CIA from like what movies and TV shows yeah. isn't really, because both jobs would be a lot of desk paperwork. Yes. That's just how mm-hmm. federal agencies are. Yeah. But, yeah, I think I would agree with you. Yeah. I mean, I did originally go to school for criminal justice. That's why I thought it would yeah. be an interesting question for you. But. I'd probably agree just because I know more, like, about the FBI. Yeah. But I think, personally, I might fit better in the CIA. Yeah. I mean. In, like, a like a, like a closed-off room, like, monitoring stuff somewhere, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they're both interesting. Mm-hmm. And they're, they're different. Yeah. So, it's hard to, hard to say, but. Um, okay, we've already done this one. Okay, see if there's one, a new one comes up. Oh, okay. Would you rather live without bacon? Okay. Or live without pizza? Mm. Here's the thing. Okay. <laughs> living without bacon only cuts out one food. Mm-hmm. And, like, if you're living without pizza, there's I so many pizza. things you can do with pizza. Mm-hmm. Like, that's cutting out a whole, basically, like, subset of food mm-hmm. items. Because... <gasps> 72 percent said bacon i yeah I mean, they're wrong no 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 see okay no live without bacon oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. no oh, they're right oh i clicked the wrong one yeah i'm so sorry it's okay yeah i think okay. because living without bacon i is, was gonna be pissed i think realistically it'd be pretty easy i mean we have we've so i accidentally clicked it's okay we've had a decent amount of bacon like recently <laughs> since we've been cooking hey don't out us just because we've been cooking at home more <laughs> and stuff like that but yeah yeah, pizza just cuts out so much different type of food. Mm-hmm. I mean, even Domino's has so many different options. Yeah. And, like, even if you're... And here's the thing, if you're, like, a vegan, like, that's an easy answer. Like, obviously, no bacon. There's right. vegan pizzas, so... Yeah, I I don't think I could live without pizza. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Because I could put turkey bacon on a pizza and be fine. Like... Yeah. It's like, it's a bacon pizza. Shut up, it's fine. I could put tofurkey... Bacon, 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 like, bacon. tofurkey bacon, they make the, like, the tofu bacon. Yeah. I could put that on a pizza and be fine. Yeah. yeah who cares? Or it's still covered in grease and, you know, either cheese or fake no cheese. Bake, no bacon. It's fine. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, bacon pizza is type pizza. Yeah. And I would want it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But yeah, same thing. <laughs> it's easy. Um, let's do a couple more. Yeah. Uh, we have about like 15 minutes until we hit an hour. So okay. We'll do. Like two or three more, depending. Yeah. Okay. Depending on how much talking there is. Okay. Now, this isn't even. What? <laughs> Okay, this one's kind of dumb. Would you rather spend all day in your pajamas or all day in a suit? Um, am I going to work in pajamas? I'm assuming, I'm assuming there is going to be no social backlash to you wearing, wearing pajamas all day. Like, okay. you wearing pajamas is just a normal thing, if you select that one. I feel like I could maybe, like, style pajamas in a way that makes it look better. I don't want to be like Barney. Yeah. Wearing suits to bed. Yeah. <laughs> That's Barney Stinson from How I Met Your Mother. For anybody who may have missed that <laughs> reference, it is not Barney the dinosaur who does not wear suits to bed. Who's purple? Whatever. 
Um, this was a debate we had at some point. By we'll, the way. Ha- we'll, we'll, we'll have a debate cast one day. Oh, okay. Um, anyway. Yeah, yeah I think I, I do pajamas. Yeah, Suits th- are uncomfortable. I think if it's socially acceptable, yeah. absolutely. There's nothing stopping me from wearing pajamas all day. Nah. Like if, if I was going to get, if I had like a job like in like an executive level and I had to wear a suit and like wearing pajamas like threatened my job, <laughs> yeah. it'd be a different story. But if the rules are that like, Pajamas are fine in any situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd rather be comfortable. Yeah. All right. I think we should end on this one. Okay. Would you rather lose all your money and valuables? Okay. Or, and I think I'll know which one you'll choose, mm-hmm. lose all the pictures you've ever taken? Um, so I don't have money or valuables. <laughs> uh, being a millennial, um, I am in. Lots of college debt. Mm-hmm. So I'm assuming that means wiping out all of my, like every, all my whole like financial history, which includes that college debt. Mm-hmm. Hopefully Ooh. that's how my brain works mm-hmm. where I'm just, it's like bankruptcy where you just back. Obviously bankruptcy is not like an actual, like back to zero thing, but in my <laughs> yeah, brain like yeah. this, um, I mean, I don't know where most of my pictures are. Like mm-hmm. I've, they're buried on either flash drives or in photo albums somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're picking neither? <laughs> I'd probably pick... I'd probably pick money and valuables. Realist- Lose all your money yeah. and valuables? Yeah, I think so. I mean, as much as I like things, mm-hmm. it's also a great excuse to finally like, just like up and leave and go live in the woods, mm. which oh, you know, is a great thing that I want to do. You know, Whenever I get tired of society, I want to do that anyway. Yeah. Um, I'm not super sentimental, you know that? Mm-hmm. I'm not like pictures and videos and stuff like i don't yeah i actually thought you would choose lose all the pictures you've ever taken because yeah. i know you're not really like, mm-hmm. but you I don't feel take like if, a lot of pictures but or... i feel like in that situation if i have nothing else yeah pictures to go back on like imagine if i lose all valuables but i still have my pictures like do the valuables count as i'm thinking valuables as anything monetarily valuable yeah you know like my car my computer my, yeah you know my rent my guitars things like that mm-hmm. uh as opposed to pictures which are sentimentally valuable because mm-hmm. if that's included then i'd probably pick the pictures anyway no i don't because if i'm losing them both ways because if i can keep things with sentimental value and go like i said move to the woods build a cabin live yeah. off the land type thing i'm gonna absolutely. say that as the judge for mm-hmm. this one that valuables is like monetary then yes hands yeah. down um i can lose my stuff i love stuff yeah you know just being who i am but if i lost all my stuff it's yeah, and I think, like... kind of force you away from that stuff, too. Give you a good chance to look at, like, what right. really means things to you. Be like, more minimalist. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I agree. I, I do have a lot of pictures, and yeah. pictures, to me, like, they, they mean something. Yeah, and, like, does it count, like, any picture I've taken? Is that what it says? All the pictures you have ever taken. Yeah, so, like, my family pictures would still exist. Either way, yeah. I still do what i said yeah and like right now like you said like i don't have money yeah or like i have savings but when you offset it to what i owe in college debt like i don't it doesn't matter i'm still living in the negative yeah like yeah it might be different for some people who have like a lot of money (laughs) yeah maybe some people are more materialistic and like nothing wrong with them you may have a lot of money yeah and not a lot of like fond memories maybe you grew up in a situation where you like weren't really happy and you the pictures maybe are like more bad memories for you yeah sure like your um your money is like something that has gotten you out of your situation and that actually is helpful oh crap uh, i clicked but i'm pretty sure it was like 20 something to 70 something i'll freeze frame it on the video so it shows up for you guys i think it was like 20 something lose all your like valuables yeah and then 70 something lose all the pictures interesting people I guess care more about money, but Mm -hmm. I mean, it's personal. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 But I, that was fun. Yeah. Um, okay. So we're going to, we'll wrap it up there. Um, uh, this was fun. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I like playing these games. Yeah. It's an easy, it's an easy podcast for us, which is, you know, beneficial for us. So we don't have to do a lot of prep work, but it's also, and it has some good conversations Mm -hmm. too. And like, and like we've been saying every week, like this is, this is stuff we would be doing anyway. Yeah. Like, I mean, sometimes we just sit in bed on Buzzfeed quizzes. Yeah. What kind of cheese am I based on my favorite friend's character? It's like, you know, (laughs) um, 
And it's like that kind of stuff. It's like, we might as well like yeah. record it because, you know, some people may agree or disagree with us and yeah. want some discourse there. Um, yeah. I want to do something fun like this again mm-hmm. pretty soon. Um, and like we, we said, we might do like Mad Libs, like a series. Yep. Different kinds of games. Yeah. Games, uh, video reviews, mm-hmm. Reddit reviews, mm-hmm. music, album reviews. Like, um, the, I think the longer we do this, as much as uh, a lot of podcasts tend to focus on a topic, yeah, like they start, maybe they start more broad, broad. but kind of work their way into something. Mm-hmm. I really do like the idea of keeping it to basically whatever the hell we feel like talking about that week. Yeah. I think it's more true to us and our conversations and yeah. what we want to do with this podcast anyway. And I it agree. may not spark as much like interest in like your typical like clicks and views and mm-hmm. like we're not we're never ever gonna get like big click big titles that are like yeah you know mm-hmm. um, we're not looking to break out into the, like the podcast elite next <laughs> week this is yeah. just us recording stuff we're talking about but um yeah i'd rather us be like true to the stuff we would actually talk about yeah i don't want it to feel like well it's fun and it's natural yeah, i don't want it to feel i don't want it to ever feel like we're forcing a topic out yeah or scripted or so if we ever have a week where we can't think of something, we're not going to do a podcast just to do a podcast. Yeah. You know, I'd rather us be true to the idea of the Digi podcast mm-hmm. than force content mm-hmm. for the sake of content. Yeah. You know, I agree. So we'll try to keep up with fun things like this. Yeah. And um, if you guys have any like game suggestions, yes. things that are either on the phone or are in a store or something like that yeah. that we can buy anything you guys think you might want to see or you know even at some point participate in yeah with us, that'd be fun we'd be happy to like do that i mean we have a table in front of us if there's a board game you want to watch us play if yeah. you really want to see us like play monopoly or jenga we'll mm-hmm. do it like we're also working on um getting our animal crossing set up yep we want to do that podcast probably soon yeah, so I want to see, see our next island. time there's like an update right before as like a time capsule i kind of yeah. want to do like a pre-update where our island's at yeah and maybe every major update after that kind of be like that yeah we just i mean we play a lot of animal crossing Mm -hmm. and we'll probably intermix our animal crossing stuff onto the stream yeah because i'm testing it right now trying to get it set up yeah so if you want like a pre preview to that podcast just Mm -hmm. stop by the stream and usually i'll do like an hour or two of animal crossing whenever i'm on stream yeah um yeah but besides that uh make sure you guys like and subscribe. Yep. Like I said before, leave us comments down below. Anything you guys want to hear or see, we'll be happy to participate. You may be, uh, there may be some more changes coming around. Like I said, we're still working on things. So yeah, every week's going to be a little bit different. So mm-hmm. like I said in the beginning, let us know what you thought about this week as compared to previous weeks. You know, how we sounded, uh, which week you thought sounded best, which topics you liked the best. Thing, like you said, things you would want to hear. Yeah. And then um, follow us on all of our other social media, yep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Our handles are all in uh, our description. Yep, and we then, posted there that we would be uploading late this week. Yep. So. so if you want to keep up to date on that, we'll be uh, talking more often on there. And as always, check us out on Twitch. Uh, mm-hmm. We try to stream as often as we can. Um, just come in, stop by, say hello. Mm-hmm. Uh, me and Kat will be on Discord, so you can talk with us there too we've been playing fall guys recently yes so if you guys want to see us fail at a game that is a good one to miserably watch. um other than that we will see you next week yep see you guys bye bye, bye.